Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Thursday, January 28th. You can see pretty mild temperatures out there in the uh, 20s across the eastern part of the state, 30s with clouds moving in. We have some snow showers throughout the day, maybe even mixed with a little bit of rain as temperatures climb uh, well into the mid-30s for many areas. And then we'll see a cold front come through tonight and now drop our temperatures on Friday back into the upper 20s to around 30. If you take a look at the uh, live webcam from Lansing, you can see a little bit of snow on the ground. But over the weekend, with mixed precipitation changing to rain and temperatures climbing into the, at least the low 40s for Sunday, it looks like much of the snow that's around, which isn't a lot, could melt off or quite a bit of it could melt away. If we look at the weather map for this morning, you can see that low pressure system dropping out of Canada and now just to the north of Sault Ste. Marie. It has a warm front out to the uh, west cutting across the state right now. And again, that will bring the milder air in. We've got some mixed precipitation across the southern part of the state. Again, nothing very heavy. In fact, now the precipitation through the weekend will be on the heavy side. It should be mainly light scattered activity for the most part. If we look at the weather map for tomorrow morning, you can see the cold front coming through. Cold high pressure will graze the area. Again, we'll see temperatures mainly in the upper 20s to around 30, so a little bit cooler tomorrow. But then this front will move back to the uh, northeast as a warm front. And again, that will bring some uh, mixed precipitation. And once again, Saturday morning, maybe dry for quite a bit of Saturday. And then another system out ahead of the big storm will come in, and that will bring some rain in the area with temperatures in the low 40s on Sunday. And then we watch the models here. Here's the uh, precipitation from uh, uh, the GFS over the next seven days. You can see uh, a couple bands of heavy precipitation off in the central and northern lower Michigan and across the Ohio Valley where there could be some thunderstorms. And if the track is a little farther to the northwest, we could even see some thunderstorms across southeast lower Michigan here as we get into Monday night into Tuesday as that storm approaches. And then if it tracks a little farther to the southeast, there could be more significant snows across the central and northern MAC areas. Again, my gut feeling is we'll start off with at least some snow and freezing rain, changes to rain and back to snow. But again, we'll watch for a further southeast track, which would uh, bring us a lot more in the way of snow. If we uh, look at the uh, Japanese model, you can see this is where the area of the very heaviest snows are going to be from uh, northeast Iowa, especially into Wisconsin and into extreme northern lower Michigan into the UP where I think between one to two feet of snow will fall. Don't be surprised to see uh, possibly blizzard watches uh, for parts of Wisconsin and the UP as we get in towards Monday and that would be for the time period of Tuesday and probably uh, at least early Wednesday. Looks like it could be a pretty rough go up in the uh, Northland. And as far as snowfall on the GFS, you can see it predicts the uh, heaviest snows to be across Wisconsin into the UP and uh, very little snow across southern lower Michigan. But again, we've got to watch the track on that's still a lot of time for changes. And then as far as the uh, Canadian model, this is very similar to the European uh, showing the very heavy snows across parts of Wisconsin all the way into the UP and even parts of northwest lower Michigan. But in the European, like that first map I showed you, uh, uh, you can see there's a band of uh, uh, looks like warm frontal snows, overrunning snows that will start off across much of lower Michigan, especially for central Michigan where it depicts about 6 to 8 inches of snow on the European model. Now that could be more in the way of freezing rain and it's showing up as snow. So we're going to have to watch mid-Michigan. Uh, certainly snow or ice is a possibility at the onset before it possibly changes over to rain and then back to snow. Again, we'll follow the storm through the weekend. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day and 73s to all.